Hey, today I'm talking about the new horror film, Smile 2. This was written and directed by the guy who did the original one, Parker Finn, and it stars the amazing Naomi Scott. And the basic premise is, this essentially picks up right after the last one in an incredible opening scene. Basically, there is this curse virus thing that gets passed around by someone violently killing themselves in front of someone else. I went into this one being like, how are they not just gonna remake the first movie? Because like it's such an easy to repeat premise. But hot damn did they crush it. They without a doubt told a new unique story that elevated everything in every way and just was an incredible experience. I loved this movie so much. Just to start off with the story stuff, because like this one centers on a pop star and like yeah fundamentally technically they hit the same sort of things where it starts off with her witnessing a violent suicide, she slowly goes mad, and then slowly tries to figure out what happens and then tries to save herself, which are the same beats from the first one. But everything in between is way different. How she goes about trying to save herself is different. What she sees and experiences while she's going mad is different, but also does start off in the same sort of vein as the original, so like the universe rules still apply. And then how she reacts to everything is different and unique. And then like even boiling it down to like the metaphor because good horror films are all metaphor and these are no different. That yes it's about dealing with trauma and the first one's more so about childhood trauma. This one is more complicated in that like yeah there is a traumatic event that happened to her a year ago that she still hasn't fully coped with but it's also dealing with just like her celebrity also just like this immense pressure that she has to do because hundreds of people rely on her showing up to work to do her job in order for them to make their livelihood. So it's just like that insane weight of everything on top of her because she wants to help all these people but she's also just struggling with normal things and also extraordinary things. I'm just so impressed with the writer for not taking the easy way out and just repeating the first movie again. He took the concept and went in such a different direction and made just such a different film but yet it still feels connected in the same universe. And on top of that like it is also just visually unique insofar as like having this pop star do all this pop star stuff. Both feels fresh and interesting. It's like there's some dances that happen, some choreography, and that's great. I of course have to shout out Naomi Scott. She crushed it. I've been a fan of hers for a long time. Whenever she pops up I'm like yes I gotta check that out because she's so good. And this is no exception. Like this is probably my favorite thing I've seen her in so far. She has such a great range. She carries the film effortlessly and you can really buy her as this woman who's just like slowly falling into madness while also like trying to rehabilitate herself and she feels so guilty for who she was as a person in the past. It's just such a great nuanced performance. I loved it a lot. And then like the spooks, the scary stuff all worked on me. They did a good balance of letting us have rest in between them knowing when it's safe and then just that ramping up the intensity when stuff's gonna happen. There's also just like such great effects too. Like the suicide that Naomi's character sees is just so brutal and so impressive and I was just like oh my god please stop but then he doesn't and it's great. And then the end was so awesome. It was what I wanted to have happen and it was so satisfying and there's some really cool special effects there too that just like really makes it worthwhile. So yeah no if you couldn't tell I crazy love this movie. It was so good, so interesting, explored some great ideas, had some great visuals, amazing performances, awesome cinematography as always, just top to bottom great film. So I without a doubt highly recommend it. You want a good fun spooky time? This is a great fun spooky time. You honestly could go into this without having seen the first one because it does establish the rules of the universe within the context because Naomi's character has to learn the rules of the universe. But I enjoyed the first one a lot so I would recommend going back and watching that one first but you don't have to. I did like this one more so take that as you will. And now for my ranking I put this at number 10 in the or really like section. And this is a total of 83 new movies so far this year.